How to develop your child's brain? Scientists have found that every baby has genius potential. A child's education must begin early in order to develop this inborn potential. The moment a child is conceived, it's not too early to start focusing on the child's vast learning potential. The first classroom is within the mother. The brain of the fetus develops very rapidly. The right hemisphere is highly active while the left hemisphere is relatively dormant. The soul of the child is gifted with an extrasensory perception. This is carried out through the fetal right brain in connection with every single cell of the fetal body. The cells themselves act as the SP receptors. After birth child should be given every opportunity to acquire mobility. The physical activity of a child is foundational to brain development and the formation of learning capabilities. Physical development stimulates the brain development. Because the body and brain work together. Physical exercise activates nerve cells in the brain and stimulates them to create neural networks. The brain grows as these network develops. Crawling and creeping stimulate healthy brain growth. There are seven stages of brain development that can be measured in six distinct areas. Seeing, hearing, language, sensory perception, mobility, and manual dexterity. If a child improves in one area, such as hearing, improvement occur in all the other areas as well. This demonstrates how physical achievement is associated with mental activity. Stage I is the medulla and spinal cord stage of brain development. The medulla and the spinal cord deals primarily with reflexes. Stage 2 is the pons stage. When the neural networks in the pons develop the infant learns to crawl. Stage 3 is the midbrain stage. When the midbrain is developing, baby learns to creep. After these stages only the baby starts using the cerebral cortex. Crawling stimulates brain development. Too much clothing will hinder an infant learning to crawl. The medulla controls body temperature and heat regulation is a reflex. Since medulla is not fully developed at birth, an infant needs proper warm clothing in a cold climate. The amount of crawling and creeping a baby does will have an effect on how well that child can see and hear and how well he would be able to speak and read. Give the child abundant opportunity to develop mobility and encourage to make rapid progress. But no pressure or force. It is harmful to hurry or push a child through any of the developmental stages. A child's brain has to fully develop in the previous stage before it is ready to develop in the next stage. Make the crawling environment safe by seeing that there are no uncovered electrical outlets. Remove cords and lamps and other items a baby could grab and pull over onto himself. See that furniture is stable and that there are no sharp edges or pointed corners. There are no splinters on furniture or floors. Remove unsafe objects a baby could put in his mouth or choke on. Keep all poisons and toxic products well out of the baby's range. Cheer the baby and encourage to crawl. Your baby is delighted to have your attention, so always give him plenty of love and hugs whenever he crawls to you. Place toys and safe objects on the floor, out of the baby's reach but not out of his crawling range. When he finally reaches an object let him enjoy it for a while. Immediately taking it away will frustrate and discourage him. After so much crawling, the baby will then push himself up off the floor onto his hands and knees and begin to creep. Here he enters the stage 3 or midbrain development. Creep beside the baby and cheer him on. Play games and have the baby go after you. Continue to use objects to attract the baby and reward him with love. The creeping baby definitely needs long pants and long sleeved shirts. Creeping baby should wear socks but no shoes. Get down on the floor 20 or 30 times a day with the baby and motivate him to creep. The goal for the baby is to creep 400 yards in a day. One day, creeping will be entirely replaced by crawling. The next effort will be standing up. 
After much creeping he will pull himself erect, and holding on a piece of furniture he will stand. He will then pull himself up on every table and piece of furniture he can reach, and holding on to the edge he will walk its whole length. This is called cruising. His days in the midbrain are coming to an end. The more that a child crawls and creeps, the more that brain development will take place. So do not try to make or assist your child to walk. After much cruising, he will come to the end of the sofa and eye the chair and take his first independent steps from the sofa to the chair. Now, he has left stage 3 forever and has entered stage IV of brain development. The cortex starts developing, so the child starts judging. If you have given your child extraordinary opportunity to develop mobility from birth, walking can begin at 6 months of age, which would place your child's physical intelligence at the level of genius. It takes hard work on the part of the child in each successive stage before the child can successfully graduate to the next level of brain development. Thank you.